and while printing the matrix is when we notice something something irregular you see you see array indices 1 array indices of b, array indices 1 and 2 3 1 2 and 3 of the matrix b i mean the array b and then 7 uh, in this case 7 8 and 9 they are all set to 200 they are all been updated with the uh, updated with the latest value whereas the remaining ones uh, they are not up they have the old values uh, 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 assigned to them now what could be the reason for this now if you look at it if you look at it uh, th these indices 1 2 and 3 and 7 8 9 these are the thread these are the indices of thread number 0 1 2 since the thread order is 3 and 1 what we uh, thread, uh, thread order is 3 and 1 okay what we what happened here is as follows thread 3 came in skipped this block started doing all this execution and did the do block as well and while doing this while doing this clearly thread thread 3 uh, clearly thread 0 was not active and doing that part since act, thread 3 was not active or we didn't enter it enter the block till then okay this master block did not get updated and as a consequence the a value is still 100 so the very value a value is still 100 and, and, and that was used to that was used to assign over here okay for the for those indices that were corresponding to thread 3 next thread 1 came in thread 1 skipped this master block thread 1 came in and skipped this master block and then did these parts here again thread 0 did not finish and as a consequence as a consequence the assignment is faulty they were all assigned to 100 and next and next and, ne and next is thread 0 that came in Thre thread 0 finished this assigning the master block reinstated the value of a now the value of a is 200 and now uh, value of 200 and when it went when it came down and executed its do block okay the indices are set to 200 this time correctly and then thre thread 2 came in it thread 2 came skip this master block does it but when it started working with this uh, do block do block it, the value of a was already modified by a 0 to 200 so it's using the updated value of 200 in this in this block over here and as a consequence we get a result like this okay so um, um anyway anyway if i run this run this block again this time what happens this time what happens here is the thread zero became the active thread first and uh, uh, it, so it, it got the chance to update this it got a chance to update a and then proceed further and as a consequence and as a consequence here all the assignments are two all the assignments are 200 all the assignments are 200 in this case if you run this again here again the thread order is okay let me push this a little bit so that you guys can see okay here the thread order is the thread order begin with zero so the assignment is fine here it starts with one starts with one and something st starts with one but the master block got done got done by thread zero and as a consequence the uh, consequences are that it's everything is fine here it's messed up totally messed up since this thread order is completely random and you cannot predict it how predict which happens first what happen uh, what's happening here is that we need something to make sure we need we need something to make sure that uh, all the other threads wait for thread zero to finish the job before proceeding further in this parallel block and for making them wait we p we are having this co that's why we having this construct called as barrier construct so when you put this barrier construct all the other threads will will wait at this barrier construct uh, till all the other all the other ones come so there are four threads the barrier and all the threads will have access to go further only when all the threads come to this point come to this point as a consequence regardless of whatever thread order may be okay all the other threads will come to this point so if master thread zero if so all if the non master threads will come will come enter inside skip the master block will halt over here whereas the master thread comes inside finishes the master block and then halts over here so only when all the threads come to this point they'll proceed further until then they'll all wait until then they'll all be waiting of waiting for over here for the other remaining threads to finish okay and uh, and as a, as the consequence of this barrier block as a consequence of this barrier block 
If I compile this and build this, execute this. No matter, no matter what hap what thread order comes over here. No matter what thread order comes over here, the master block gets executed by thread zero. <laughs> master block gets executed by thread zero, and all the results are updated fine. You can do this several times and stuff; it'll be working fine. So that's the thing about master block. Though it makes sure that the that the instructions are done by just uh, master block, uh, just by master thread. Okay, it does not it does not let uh, it does not uh, make the other, it does not let the other threads to halt, halt or wait for the master thread to finish their job. And as a consequence, uh, you know, as a consequence, the intentional race condition, intentional racing of the race condition for in this program that we wanted to happen did not happen. So. So here, uh, so here, what what's happening? So here, what's happening is that the intentional race condition is not happening as we an, as we anticipated, and the results are, the results turn out to be faulty. While putting a barrier block, while putting a barrier block, this problem gets sorted out because by putting a barrier block, this entire statement just uh, everything else halted properly. Uh, we get the execution running running fine, and then we proceeded further. Okay, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Now, in the next tutorial, I'll be talking about this one more program that is regarding to master block, and I'll also ex explain to you guys what's happening in this. Okay, I came across an interesting problem that interesting problem while working with this, working with this stuff. Hopefully, you might you guys might have an idea about what this problem is. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.